Ja trochę widzę przez tą szmatę, spoko. So welcome to Build Production 101. This is Bartos, our test subject. I'm going to show you how we approach this and some cool tips that we found out during uh, this production. So this is the setup. You can see the camera here. And also Bartos is in the virtual scene. Um, he isn't moving, he's stationary. And I'm going to go to Axiometry now and Unreal Engine and show you how I configured this with the Stream Deck. So this is the battle station here, which is the main streaming computer used to broadcast everything that happens on the main computer, which is here. Now I have this setup here. Bartek will patiently wait here and I'm gonna switch some cameras and show you how uh, the setup works, right? So here is Axiometry configured. You can see here that I have every camera um, configured into uh, a shortcut and the shortcuts are triggered from a stream deck. Now the stream deck is very cool because you can configure it however you want and I'm going to show you how to, um, how to uh, add a camera switch to uh, this. So whenever I press a camera you can see here in Axiometry, it's switching. And here in the preview, you can see that I'm able to quickly switch the cameras. Now I added a, a bunch of uh, controls here to make my life easier so I don't have to see, even see the screen and look at it. Uh, I mainly look over here and also at the flow, which is the node based here. Uh, system where I can use it to trigger events uh, in Axiometry uh, that were previously configured in, in Unreal Engine. So say I want to make a cat enter the scene and uh, say hello to Bartek, right? So I'm gonna trigger an event here and I can add this event also to my stream deck, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna just trigger it here manually. So once I press this button, There we go. Trigger. You should see here soon a cat approaching the scene. So the cat is a sequence. So you can see it's, it started moving. It's moving into Bartosz's frame. And I switch the camera, jumps on the scene, and he's behind Bartosz now. And yeah, you can look at him. Yeah, don't step on him. <laughs> and yeah, he just is chilling now. <laughs> so yeah, I can keep, keep on switching the cameras, but if I want to also uh, go to free cam and manually navigate and show the cat maybe in detail, I can just quickly do this, right? So I can just quickly show here, and this is the cat just chilling here and sleeping. So I'm gonna run a second trigger now, 
which is a dog entering the scene. So I'm gonna hit trigger here. And back in my axiometry scene, you can see there should be a dog approaching the scene shortly. There we go, there's the corgi. And the corgi is approaching the scene. So the cat should wake up soon. All these are sequences that we programmed before. Well, there, there, there goes the cat. It got, <laughs> it got afraid of the dog, which was actually kind of realistic because these animations sync together and the dog went after the cat. So there you go. That's how we trigger animations and use video uh, of a presentation in the background, uh, 3D animations running in the foreground, and a billboard with the talent or actor on the green screen, like you can see here in Bartek's studio setup in Course Makers, which is really cool. You put a lot of work into this to get the green screen right so it doesn't get in the way. Uh, we're using a 4K, uh, I think, or 2K signal to input the camera. So we have a nice sharp picture. I can really zoom into his face and still get a lot of detail going on. You don't want to zoom in too much. Bartok uses glasses. Glasses have a tendency to reflect green light and also uh, but it's that it doesn't get that much in the way because usually we shoot from kind of this perspective and it just doesn't matter that much. So yeah, this is a quick, quick overview rundown of how uh, I can switch cameras quickly just using the Stream Deck. And I have eight cameras prepared here plus a free cam. And yeah, this is pretty much it. I also added these little... Um, uh, previews of the screens that I want to trigger. So say I want to, the, the screen to show uh, this animation, I click it, and whenever I click uh, again on the stream deck, it changes. So how you may ask, how would you... Uh, I'm sorry I'm shooting this all on my iPhone, but this setup is a little bit convoluted and it's just easier to show you this way dynamically on different monitors. So if I want to uh, trigger an event, uh, any event in Axiometry using the Stream Deck, you need to use the, the Stream Deck software. And the stream, in, in the Stream Deck software, there is a mm, special node that's called uh, Hotkey. So you just drag in the Hotkey. You can name it like Trigger, right? I'm going to do the, the dog so it's triggered. So let's call it just Corgi, right? Corgi Anim. All right, so I got the Corgi animation. Uh, I can, of course, change the, the graphics here. And just select a nice file for it, but I'm going to leave it for this. And hotkey, right? And I found that the best uh, to use for hotkeys is... Uh, buttons that are not used in the software itself. So usually it's some kind of F12 or it can be uh, on the numpad or it can be something that's generally not used as a shortcut in the software. So all, all these kind of 1 to 9 and 0. Don't use the F to F12 because those are um, Corgi Anim. I'm going to assign a code key to this. So I can just press, let's say... Um, any keyboard, right? So I'm going to just press the semicolon, right? So you can see that this is the hotkey now. If I go now that back to Axiometry, click on my Unreal node, you can see here that I can uh, trigger the event here, right over here. So if I right click on this, you can see that I get a whole bunch of options. I'm just going to unassign this, unassign all. And if I go to uh, assign keyboard and now I press on the stream deck this button you can see that it registered this as a shortcut 
So now if I press the button, let me just switch the camera to a free cam. You can see that the Corgi is animating in. No, nie możesz tego komputera zakupić szybko albo bardzo go sobie wyważyć. A tu możesz włączyć, nie musisz usuwać. Nie, to jest super. Można go tak wczytać? Nie, można go wcisnąć tak, że jest już jakby zrobione, tylko go dopierdolić, nie? To tak jak jest nie kręcić, nie? To jest tak jak teraz będzie ustawione. Nie, ale mogę go... All right, we are learning virtual production with axiometry based on our um, research we found that axiometry will be probably the best to use here so i'm compiling a scene but i guess thinking about buying more vive trackers um yeah the set is wonderful right, i'm going to show you a little bit here mini hollywood. yes we are aiming for a mini hollywood we've got the panasonic bgh1 which will be gen locked with the engine uh field monitor that's cool uh, Bartek has here a little gem also, this is the SH1, which will be the, probably the second B cam or the main cam, we'll see about that. So, yeah, this is the monitor that will be used for previewing and seeing what's going on in the scenes, in the scene. Mm, and over here is something magical, it's a laser projector. And one of the things Bartek mentioned that he doesn't want to use virtual billboards. He wants to use an actual billboard and combine that with green screen. So it's kind of innovative. So we'll begin mixing two realities and see how that turns out. Uh, this is his light hack for making a, um, a window with a uh, with kind of an effect of a real light, so use this kind of blending system, which is very nice and it delivers a very nice key because if you if you if you blow out your green screen and put too much light on it, you're gonna look not too good in the scene, right? 
but if you do something more uh, toned down and everything should be worked should work better so the dog here will be used for tracking I mean for keying out and we'll see how it turns out so it takes always a little bit to compile every scene in axiometry but uh, this uh, be doing it before the shoot actually improves uh, performance during the shoot because everything is baked down and you don't have to worry about uh, any problems. Uh, your computer will be work faster this way. All right, I'm going to jump in. I see it's compiled, so I'll see you in the next video uh, once I get this up and running. <laughs> I tam, znaczy tu jest przycisk view i tam można wybrać galerii i będzie widział Pani wszystkie, tu jako widok galerii. Ale ekranów, no i tutaj jest widać pieseł na tle cyberpunka. No, zrób taką prezentację, jakby, jakbyś to widział, tak żebym to... No, teraz wiesz, czyli jesteśmy tutaj, zobaczmy teraz, czy tam jest slajdy, pokażę, slajdy, pokażę slajdy, tak. prezentacja, co się dzieje, ok, a teraz przejdźmy do, zobaczmy jak to wygląda w praktyce, w zbliżeniu, tak, w zbliżeniu. 